And welcome to 13 News at 6. I'm Brittany Hardaway. And I'm Derek Bain. Thanks for joining us tonight. We begin with new updates from the city of Rockford on how it plans to use the tax revenue generated by the Hard Rock Casino. Rockford, however, isn't the only place getting money out of it. Not too long ago, we highlighted what McChesney Park and Loves Park will do with their share. According to McChesney Park Mayor Steve Johnson, the village will use their portion of the revenue for public safety and other projects, hoping it spurs more economic growth. Loves Park is in a similar boat, planning to support first responders and public works. Each place will get 5% of the casino's tax revenue, while the city of Rockford will collect 70%. 13 WREX's Emily McMinn joins us in studio tonight to break down exactly what Rockford is looking to do with the funding they receive. Emily, what can you tell us? The city of Rockford has several plans for their share of the money, which they are expecting to be around $7 million. The city plans to put it towards education, utilizing the Rockford Promise program, which allows students to attend college for free for improvements to specific neighborhoods and for other projects yet to be determined, just to name a few. The $7 million also marks a huge jump for the city, who was also receiving funding from the temporary casino. You know, kudos to the Hard Rock team. Uh, they've done an awesome and continue to do an awesome job um, out there at the casino. So um, we love their success. It benefits the both of us um, and we allows us to continue to invest in our community. These plans still have to be approved by Rockford City Council before they will officially go into effect. And Winnebago County will also be receiving a percentage of the gaming tax revenue as well. Back over to you, Derek and Brittany. All right. Thanks a lot, Emily. Now we're going to